Hello everyone. This video is an introduction to the new features of Atelier 7.0, focusing on accessory simulation. Let's take a look together. First, let's understand the three situations of Trim's collision. The first situation is participating in collision, but not freezing, which is also an optimization feature in the new version. The second, participating in collision and freezing. The third is neither participating in collision nor freezing. In the simulation, it was observed that only the first type of trim was properly resolved. Collisions between multiple trims are also resolved correctly. Now let's look at the second type, where it participates in collision while remaining frozen. It can be seen that the pattern and trim are involved in collision, with the trim remaining frozen. As for the third type, the trim is not involved in collision. Therefore, the pattern also does not collide with the trim in this case. But in this state, the trim has snapped too. For the other two types, they need to be changed back to not colliding for the snap to button to appear. Therefore, in the third situation, you can also achieve the effect of following the simulation by using snap to. Snap to requires careful attention. First select the point on the trim to snap to, then select the part that needs to follow. After snapping, you can adjust the position of the trim. In the simulation, we see that rings are not intersecting correctly, you may need to readjust their positions. This method is prone to penetration and is only suitable for simple trims collisions, such as buttons. While the second method is suitable for trims used as scene props, it don't require calculation. Now, let's take another look at the case study. Firstly, this trim does not collide, it adheres to the fabric on the top of the head. This way, it can be simulated to follow the movement of the avatar. It's like attaching the trim to a specific section of the fabric. Let's take a look at the trim on the chest again, which similarly does not participate in collisions. It snapped to the transparent pattern on the chest. Not selecting collision is to avoid fabric shaking between layers. Like this. Different situations require selecting the collision method for trims appropriately. The decorations on hand can convert trims into avatars and directly attach them to the avatar's body. Only these pendants that require separate collision and simulation need to utilize our new feature. That is, only selecting collision is necessary. Let's briefly demonstrate the method for adding these pendants. First, you need to import the pendant model. Here, select Add. Add Trim. The dimensions of the trim can be adjusted in the right-hand property editing window. Firstly, without selecting collision, click the snap to button. Snap it to the place where it needs to connect. Then proceed to select collision. And finally, proceed with the simulation. This trim, which adheres to the pattern and can collide during calculation, has been added. We'll quickly demonstrate the next trim.
The operation method is, first click on the trim section point, then attach it to the connection point on the pattern. Just select collision at the end, and you're good to go. Lastly, let's take a look at the overall simulation effect of the clothing. Trims in the new feature mode will naturally sway with movements, creating a more realistic effect. So, that concludes the introduction of accessory simulation. Feel free to like and share the video. See you in the next episode.